Hotel's a really interesting map. It's a classic Gears 3 launch map. And Hotel is almost two different maps. There's a, an interior section and an exterior section. And, and the inside of the hotel has these rich cover systems where players can swat turn, they can slip, they can slide, and they're all connected, right? And, and looking over top of them is the sniper perch. And we've replaced the long shot with an M-bar. And we really think that that's a, a very different sniping experience. We think it'll change up the interior fight as well as being able to be used outside in the street fight. That street fight sort of wraps all the way around the inside of the hotel being critically important as people are going to still be fighting over the boom and that power weapon is going to have big influence on the map. These two fights are very, very distinct and they're very separate. Uh, you kind of can't see what's going on outside if you're on the inside and vice versa. And that keeps these two fights heavily defined. We really wanted to make this version of Hotel uh, very visually distinct from the Gears 3 version. You know, a little moodier, a little darker. Overgrowth of green ivy and moss have reclaimed the interior of this hotel. So this, is, this hotel is actually on the side of a cliff um, where you can see the surrounding rock uh, around the hotel. And the whole thing has a very spooky kind of feel to it. The Slab is a very different kind of five-player map. It almost looks like a two-lane map, where you can see a left path and a right path coming out of spawn. And because of that, it creates a very different feel. The Slab's fight is defined by this central corridor. It has almost a, a primal characteristic to it. If you have two people that enter, one is gonna leave with the boom shot and the other is gonna die. Now, when you come out of spawn on the Slab, you're gonna see a left entrance and a right entrance into the prison. On the other side of that, there's a courtyard that connects the both, and that actually is one of the key places to fight. If you can push, through the middle of the map into your opponent's courtyard, you're gonna be able to like play on their territory and try to hold them there while they're coming in from their spawn. The Slab is a prison that really goes to the roots of the Gears of War universe. It's the prison where Marcus Phoenix was held and we really wanted to retain a classic Gears look but take it to the next level. So everything's grittier, bigger, bolder. Both sides are defined by these really big uh, visual showcases, as well as on the outside, there's an incoming wind flare that if you needed any motivation to break into a prison, then it's gonna be that. In the April update, we're going to be making significant changes to core and competitive weapon tuning. It's been about six months since launch, and we've been watching Gears fans play Gears of War 4, and we wanted to take that opportunity to learn from it, uh, hear the feedback from online, from all the people playing. We recently made changes to things like the, the Nasher mechanically, and we also had to co incorporate those into a new tuning update uh, for everybody. So that includes both core and competitive. And for the core gamer, uh, what we know is really important is the balance of all those basic weapons. We want to be balancing, you know, the Lancer player, you know, they want to make sure that their Lancer is, you know, feels really Lancery and the Nasher and really Nashery. Um, but we also wanted to make sure that things like the Hammer Burst uh, and the Enforcer really had a role as well. And for the core gamer to have uh, that selection of their, their basic weapon is really important. For competitive, some of the weapons were a little bit overpowered and they were cutting off some of the deeper, more skillful play. So we've gone in there and we've really took off the rough edges across a few different weapons to make sure that the overall experience really lets players play at the highest level possible. For more information and a detailed breakdown on the new weapon tuning, go to gearsofwar.com. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think on the official Gears of War forums and at Gears of War on Twitter. Click on a fly through to see more of these latest two maps.